Macedonian spoke to the House Speaker just a short time ago about why he's changed his mind. She joins us now live from the State House. Kim? Well, Mike and Shannon, this news comes out of a closed door caucus of House Democrats here at the State House just a short time ago. And just to recap, the Senate passed the Paw Sox bill earlier this year, but since then there has been no movement on it on the House side. And as you mentioned, House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello even went so far as to say that the bill was dead. Well, all of that changed this afternoon when he told us that there would be an amendment to that bill introduced at the House Finance Committee Thursday night. He says that amendment will take Rhode Island tax taxpayers completely off the hook. Now, the Senate version of this bill was passed earlier this year. It would see the cost of the proposed stadium split three ways, $45 million from the team and a combined $38 million from the state and city. That part wouldn't change, but Mattiello says under this new proposal, there would be zero risk to the taxpayers if the team defaults. Here's how he explained the proposal just a short time ago. We're looking at creating a restricted receipt account and putting the tax revenues that the, uh, the PAC itself generates, direct income and sales tax only from the PAC directly into the restricted receipt account. Any additional property taxes in a certain tax incremental financing district around the park would go into the restricted receipt account. The Pawtucket Redevelopment Agency would issue the debt. No Rhode Island taxpayer guarantee involvement. No Pawtucket taxpayer guarantee or involvement. Now, we haven't yet seen the specifics of this amendment. Mattiello says at this point it's still just a framework and would need to be considered. We will be seeing it on Thursday night. We did reach out to Senate President Dominic Ruggiero, who's been championing the Pawsox bill on the Senate side. A spokesman tells us he, too, has not yet seen the specific language of this amendment. Now, all of this comes as we're hurtling towards the end of session and the budget process. A spokesman for Mattiello tells us that they expect the budget to be heard sometime late next week. Reporting live at the State House tonight, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.